الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين مالك يوم الدين We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We appreciate Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We salute Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala And we say unto him No one but him Oh Allah we thank you once again For bringing us together To have yet another session of our Sunday program today. Oh Allah, continue to be with us. Continue to accept it from us as act of righteousness. Well, um, let's quickly look at um, Surah al verse 9, 10, Ten and eleven. Very quickly, we may not be able to elucidate enough, may not be able to expand shade enough. Let's just, just go through the main point of the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya yalladina amanu la tulikum amwalukum wala awladukum and the kurullah maya falzali kafaulai kahum al khasirun. I said it, was it not last two weeks that there are certain issues that Allah directed his speech to a certain category of his creatures? It's not for everyone because everything has got in his stages, his level. The speech we deliver, of course, is not for everyone at all times. There are some selected creatures of Allah whom Allah is addressing in this regard. Who are those selected creatures of Allah? They are the one whom Allah have confirmed their faith. And we say they are the believers. Oh, you who believe. believe in the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there are certain things in your life they are very precious to you they are very important to you they are so meaningful to you you exalt them you reverend them you cherish them and if God is not taking those things can lead you astray they can make you to offend me. They can turn you to losers at the end of the day. Those two things are what Allah is mentioning here. That as much as important they are to you, do not allow them to debar you from my remembrance. things are very important to everyone. If you do not have any of them, we tend to be in problem. We run elter skater up and down to have them. Amualukum. Here, what we call malu, our amualu, is far beyond wealth. It's far beyond money. Your businesses, your engagements, your means of livelihood, your job, all other things to do, you do 
that make you to be comfortable, to make money, to live a good life. Do not allow it to disturb you from my remembrance. Some of us don't have money up to now. The kind of wealth we desire to have has not been given to us. And it is better for us to remain like this than to become wealthier. When some of us make more money, we will forget Allah. We will turn our back against Allah. We will be carried away by that wealth. Let's take, for example, the, some of the billionaires, if care is not taken, they don't really have time for Ibadah. The businesses they get themselves involved in that fetch them this billion, we rather engage them than remembrance the of Allah. From one meeting to another, even those of us who are in high offices, we tend to be so busy, so engaged, so occupied with tight schedule that we tend to forget Salat. Because you will be leaving from one meeting to another. For example, I'm a civil servant. When someone becomes a director, you have less time for yourself. You have less time for your religion because the ministers will need your attention. The PAMSEC will need your attention. You will be representing minister and my PAMSEC home and abroad, here and there, every now and then. You don't have closing time again once you become director. Then if care is not taken, you will not say, why, what has this one got to do with Amuanu? Anything that can fetch you Manu, you have to take care of that thing, not to debar you from remembrance of Allah. When you now achieve the word, you have to be careful not to debar you from remembering Allah. There are Muslim directors who may not have time to pray from from morning till evening. No, in fact, sometimes they don't even remember time of prayer. It's always from one meeting to another. You know that is good enough to some people. It's a, a form of relevance. That I'm, I'm so relevant in my ministry. My, 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 my minister cannot do without me. The pamphlet has to see me on a daily basis. We have been having meetings here and there. Amen. Before I leave office, sometimes I go on with two million naira, five million naira. Allah says, La tulihi kum amwa lokum. My dear brothers and sisters, Christians in their own way have no problem because they do not really have mode of worship. In the Christian dome, there's no specific mode of worship. So therefore, they don't have specific time of worship. Once you can say, in Jesus, in Jesus Christ I pray, meeting continue. They don't have to be prayer, no zuhur, no asri, no maghrib, no isha. But in Islam, you are bound as a good Muslim to observe five daily prayers. And wherever you are, even as a junior officer, you can indirectly protest, Sir, it is time for prayer. And Christians will never like you. Even among your bosses, they won't like you, but what do you mean? Even some Muslims will shout you down. Keep quiet, are you the only Muslim here? You can see. Some director will shout, we insult the, the junior staff. Will you keep quiet? Do you understand this more than I do? Look at this fanatic boy. You either walk here or you get out. Because it's reminding of God of the time of Salat. Allah says, Oh, you who believe. carry away by your words that Allah has provided for you. Look at it. La tulihikum. 
is the same thing as, as Allah says, Aliha kumu takafu. Aliha kumu takafu. Hatta zurtum al maqara. Kalla sofa ta'ala mul. Aliha kumu takafu. إذن هنا التكاثر يلهكم أن ذكر الله. كوبو كوبو. I want to make more money. We debar you, we engage you, we disturb you from remembrance of your Creator who provided all those things for you. You forbid the provider and now pay attention to the provided. Number one, your wealth and all those things that give birth to wealth should not debar you from remembering Allah. Why are you allowed to come? Your children, your children should not disturb you, should not debar you, should not carry you away from remembering me, Allah, who provides those children for you. I don't have time to go too much into that. You will all know and understand with me how your children can disturb you, can engage you, can take you away from remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you are bringing up children, you, they need your financial support, your moral support, your physical support. They need your time and everything. That is not enough not to remember Allah because you want to bring them up in the best way. So therefore, you cannot remember Allah. Anything that has to do with Allah, you don't have time for it. You have to be very careful. Whoever does that among you, whoever, whoever among you that does this, whoever among you that is carried away by his wealth at the upbringing of his children for Ulaid. Those category of believers are losers on the day of Qiyamah. They will be among the losers. Fawlaika humul khasirun. Allah didn't say, Allah did not say they are going to lose. He said they are already confirmed losers. They have lost the game. He now said, now <clears throat> you have money. Allah says, do not be carried away when you are struggling to have money. When you now have money, how do you how do you use the money? Allah say wa anfiku. And at the same time, when you struggle with little time you have to make your money, Allah ba fe boya lo ko ni di fitina. Oh, ni wala koja aboti ye. Allah ba tve fo lo wo. But it's Satan alone says, say, say. you will struggle and struggle and struggle. You get out by 4 a.m., come back 12 a.m. throughout the year for so many years. Yes, you might not make it. It is only Allah that provides for us, that choose the wealthy ones, the well to do ones, the big wigs among us. Now, if you have the money, what happens? Spend, spend from what Allah has provided you before the time of your death. Spend in the cause of Allah before the time of your death. Because we are asking you to spend in the cause of Allah for what Allah has provided you. Allah has provided you with wealth, with money, with everything. Use it for Allah. 
before the time of your death. Now what happened? Of death, Allah, I wish Allah you could you could give me an opportunity, you could slow down this death in order of me to die this year. I hope you can shift it this next year. Just give me a short time, Allah, give me more opportunity so that whatever I have, I'm going to spend it in your course. For us of Dhaka, I will now agree with you. I will have strong belief in you. Welcome in a solid And I promise I'm going to be among the righteous ones. Uh -huh. Once, once it is time for anyone to go, you have to go. When it's time for anyone to die, you have to die. Allah does not change his decision. He will not slow it down for you again. When you are about to go, you have to go. Once Angel Azarael appear to you and says, Time up, it is time up. لا يؤخر الله نفسا إذا جاها أجلها. Once it is time, no change of decision. And surely, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, we account each and every one of us upon our deeds. Whatever you do is what Allah will judge you upon on the day of Qiyamah. May Allah give us everything we need to remember him, to be close to him, to come up with act of ibadah, so that we won't be among the losers on the day of Qiyamah.